Just as we're coming on the air tonight, there's a late-breaking story, and it's our lead story. So we turn right away for details to ABC's Terry Moran. Sometimes an actor finds a role that just connects the role of a lifetime. James Gandolfini, who died suddenly today at 51, was Tony Soprano. For 86 episodes over six seasons on HBO, Gandolfini seared America's eyeballs with his all-out portrayal of a New Jersey mob boss plagued by self-doubt and petty problems, yet capable of staggering and ruthless violence. With news of his passing apparently of a heart attack while he was in Italy, the world has not only lost an immensely talented actor, but also a cultural icon. So by the time the world met Tony Soprano in 1999, Gandolfini had become a seasoned master at bringing to life the gray areas between crime and civility, evil and humanity. But the mob roles beckoned. He played alongside Brad Pitt in last year's Killing Them Softly, telling ABC's Cynthia McFadden he had to be talked into playing yet another tough guy. I didn't want to do another, another mob guy for a long time. And why? Well, why? I've done it for 10 years. <laughs> In a statement tonight, HBO said he was a special man, a great talent, but more importantly, a gentle and loving person. Now he is gone, leaving behind a wife and two children, including an eight-month-old girl. But like all iconic roles, Tony Soprano lives on, and so does the gifted man who brought him to life and died too young.